So what is important in terms of project management? Um, we, as a program, we apply the lead partner principle. And this means there is a very, very important role of the lead partner. Um, because the lead partner is the institution which is overall responsible responsible for the program in, for the project implementation towards the Interact Central Europe program, and um, this responsibility of the lead partner covers um, various aspects, um, starting from um, the coordination of the whole partnership, the reporting to ensure that um, all activities, outputs, and results are implemented in accordance with the um, application form. And also, what is very important, to ensure that uh, all the products which are produced are um, delivered in, in a good quality. And, of course, um, a project can only be successful if it's well managed. And Therefore, project is really a management is very really a very important task. And um, for a good project manager management, there is the need to set up a good management structure, which includes um, the function of a project manager as a representative of the lead partner institution. And um, there are various activities which need to be performed by the project manager, starting from the overall coordination of the partnership, um, going to the monitoring of the progress of project activities, which means that it's um, the task of the lead partner to see and to keep an overview view on um, which tasks are performed the timing of the tasks, are they delivered in, in line with the application form? And if not, in order also to um, come up with relevant mitigation measures. Um, quality checks are also a very important task to be performed in order to ensure that um, reporting is um, done in a good quality to collect um, inputs from the partners, ask for feedback from partners, and then to consolidate all the different information from partners at the project level, at project level in order to deliver um, reports to the program, which covers the joint information from the whole project. Um, and also the lead partner is actually, actually um, the project manager is actually the one being then in contact with the joint secretariat. So you as a project manager are then our interface our, to, the, to the project, to the whole partnership and um, our point of communication. If we go to the next one. So I have talked a lot about more technical tasks which a project manager has to do. But you should also not forget the human factor. What you need to put a lot of emphasis, and I think it's actually the most, I would not say the most, but a very interesting part of project management is to deal with the human factor. You have not only to manage institutions and activities, you have to manage people. And um, this and this management, um, is actually the core also of, of our cooperation projects, of transnational cooperation. So it's not only a technical coordination, but also to steer the persons um, working in the project, to motivate them and to ensure that everybody is has a common understanding of what is to be achieved by the project and also to keep a good atmosphere and a good, um, how to say, spirit um, in the project implementation. Um, for this, I think there are many whatever tools and different types of structures um, outside. I think you might know quite a lot, so I think you have a good experience anyway. But um, according to our experience, uh, most projects set up a project steering 
steering committee, which acts as somehow the main decision-making body of a project, um, a smaller management team, and then some smaller um, sub-management structures like activity coordinators, work package um, coordinators. But of course, this is up to projects to design management structures according to project needs. I have mentioned already before that quality matters, quality counts. And for this purpose, um, it's good to think also about a quality management system already from the very beginning. So, um, and this will ensure that you can quickly start off with your activities and that there is a good and common understanding of who is responsible for what in your project that you ensure a smooth implementation of what is foreseen in the application form in order to avoid deviations or delays or whatever. And in case you face any risks, you can come up with um, good mitigation plans um, very soon and timely in order not to have um, effects on other activities. Um, in terms of quality management, it allows you also to collect relevant information from all partners. And of course, if um, you're well on track with your activities and reporting, this allows you also to get um, a quick reimbursement of funds from the program side, since there will not be the need for um, a lot of clarifications or amendments of you deliver it. And how to set up this? Um, yeah, I think um, what is really important is that you perform in a systematic way your quality control, that you really have um, procedures in place um, according to which you uh, collect contributions from your partners, how you monitor. Um, progress and the performance uh, achievements um, from various work packages and from partners. I know this can be a very challenging task since partnerships, they are sometimes big. This means collecting information from 10 or more partners sometimes can be not easy. Um, but um, to have a system in place which allows you to trace um, the program uh, the project process is, um, I think, a very efficient tool in order to avoid lengthy whatever clarifications or asking a lot of amendments afterwards. What can be also a very useful um, tool from our experience is also to do internal reviews within your project from time to time to see where you stand and to have a really a close exchange with all your partners in either through meetings, through online, whatever, um, exchange groups, um, through um, um, dedicated communities. So I think this is really up to you how do you design also information and communication flows within um, your partnership. 